Hi viewers, I am Dr. Bhuvne Shari from GBR Fertility Center and Hospitals in Chennai. Uh, today I am going to uh, describe about embryo transfer. Two types of embryo transfers. One is uh, fresh, another one is frozen embryo transfer. What is the difference? Many of them are having these questions and also they always have this doubt why they are doing for me fresh and another person they are doing frozen. So there are two different indications for the younger women, for the polycystic ovarian patients who have more eggs, more hyperstimulation risk and different protocols which will hamper and or uh, reduce the pregnancy success rate when we do the same cycle embryo transfer. So on people who have very thin endometrium that is not growing even with the normal follicular uh, size. So we have to freeze these women embryos and do it in a natural cycle where we can give more external hormonal support and then do transfer. So thereby they will get a highest success. There are group where they are having a good uterine blood flow, a good endometrial thickness, uh, number of embryos or less number of eggs we know very less not much hyperstimulation so the environment is good then we can transfer the uh, fresh embryo for the women so that is the difference the indication is totally different uh, the success rate is compared uh, all over scientifically both fresh and uh, frozen if it is uh, done in a proper endometrium and proper uh, protocol then the success is same only when they compare with the younger age group with the hyperstimulation risk or with the antagonist protocol or some patients who have a uh, problem in uh, having uh, implantation those women uh, we always try to do either endometrial biopsy era and then do embryo transfer in a frozen cycle so that is uh, where the, the success varies if we do in the same group in the fresh cycle then they will have a less success rate so it is all depends on the indication it's uh, in GBR it is done in a personalized manner so we know what protocol I am using, what kind of patients I am doing, how many number of eggs are there which will give them a high success rate also which is a cost effective manner. So all these factors are important in deciding on embryo transfer. So it could be fresh or frozen whatever we are doing choosing that embryo transfer we should give highest success to that patient. So that is the main aim of that. So we don't need to compare each and every one. Uh, the maximum number of cycles done in GBR are frozen embryo transfer for the same reason. People come here with a repeated failures, poor endometrium, people have a lot of other complications. So we want to divide the cycle and do it. At the same time, if the patients are coming internationally or far away distances, if their other factors are all normal except embryo, then we will be doing the same cycle. There are some patients who have a genetic issues where we have to do pre-implantation genetic diagnosis. Then again, those patients require their embryos to be frozen till we get the results and then we transfer in the next natural cycle. So that is the idea of uh, doing this uh, fresh and frozen embryo transfers. I'm sure this will be clear. Even if you don't have uh, clarity, you can definitely call us online and or you can come in person with all your reports. We can give you a proper opinion and explanation. You can follow us in this YouTube channel and we also release um, via our app you can download it to track your cycle and uh, your uh, mainly fertility tracker cycle tracker uh, there are so many facilities are there in that app you can go to our website or play store google play store and download this app and uh, continue to follow up with us thank you